Hi folks, welcome to chapter 6. We've got the um, two-ton uh, shock crane assembled. It wasn't too bad at all. Um, we picked up a 20% coupon, which are pretty easy to find for Harbor Freight. The one I found was in uh, Home Shop Machinists, but the, they're pretty common. So this, I think, only cost us 160 bucks. Um, it's the folding type, which is great because I, I don't want this thing taking up shop space. It took about 30 minutes to put together with two people. It was definitely helpful to have two people. It would have been a bit tricky with one. So this is ready to go. Um, and we've got it set on the one-ton bar, which makes sense given that that's 2,000 pounds and the mill's only, I think, about 1,300. And uh, that's also what they've got shown here in the Tormach manual. Uh, so that's a good uh, confirmation. So what we're doing now is trying to figure out the delivery, which is going to happen tomorrow. As you can see, the garage door, which is down, leads out to uh, a grade level driveway. So the lift truck will back up, um, and I've talked to the guy, he's got a pallet jack. We don't have a pallet jack, so um, one of the things we're trying to do is figure out how to get by tomorrow without a pallet jack after the delivery guy uh, heads off. So, as best I can tell, um, we're going to have the first crate be the crate which has the two boxes. The, the lower box is the stand and the top box is the chip trays. Um, it's one crate itself, or it's two crates stacked on one pallet. We'll have him bring that in first and he'll put that over here. Probably somewhere on the ground, set it around here. Um, and then we'll have him drop the bigger single package, which I think I've got a um, picture of his name. Um, I don't have one on handy, but the single crate, which is the actual mill, we'll have him drop off over here. Um, and uh, I'll show you where we're looking is where we're standing is the mill itself. I think we're going to put it back up against this wall. You can see that the rough very crude outline running along here, which is the sort of 80 inch mark coming out 45. So the thought is, with the first crate here, that's the stand, we'll tear that crate apart, um, did or disassemble that, get the stand put in place, get all the crate wood out of here so the stand's ready to go. Then what we'll do is start taking apart the mill crate um, and as everyone has seen, or excuse me, as you can see in the Tormach literature, what you do is you end up um, taking the crate walls off and then you use a sawzall to, uh, to cut down the crate to just barely the footprint of the actual mill and then we'll bring our uh, engine hoist over and use the kit. You'll see us uh, on another video tomorrow. Here's what we're trying to figure out. It occurred to us that we really need to make sure that the delivery guy drops the mill off in the crate package so that the mill is facing forward. If it's facing backwards, we're probably okay, but if it's facing uh, to my right or to my left, we might be in trouble because the legs on the uh, engine hoist aren't wide enough to come approach the mill and lift it up. So that's the pickle that we're trying to figure out. I've looked at the pictures on the website to see the external uh, freight bar box markings to see if I can take a good guess at which way that is. Because like I said, we're not going to have a pallet jack once the guy leaves, so trying to figure that out. Um, that's all for chapter 6. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.